So this is likely one of the most cost-effective sushi omakase spots in the city. But just because it's easy on the wallet doesn't mean it skimps on quality or authenticity. Headed by chef Takahiro Arakawa, who trained under Michelin-starred Hiroyuki Sato, Sushi Dan provides an artful and expert Edomai sushi experience, but in a casual and family-friendly setting. In fact, this is one of my go-to recommendations for visitors who are new and looking to dip their toes into the world of fine Japanese sushi without having to break the bank. There's a multitude of reasons why this is an excellent beginner omakase. But first, we'll start off with the sushi itself. At a mere 3,500 yen, their Shiro omakase course is truly one of the most affordable I've ever come across in Japan. This is a fairly standard piece count for the price point and was just the right amount of food for lunch. And since it's omakase style, the selections change according to the chef's recommendation on the day. This also means the sushi being served is of the utmost freshness based on market availability and seasonality. One of the joys of omakase is being served offerings or variations you've never encountered before. While boiled shrimp nigiri is a relatively common omakase offering, this was a delightful first experience, having it adorned with shiba ebi. And another variation I personally appreciate is seared nigiri. In a lineup that's often predominantly raw fish, it acts as a refreshing interlude that often features and balances multiple tastes and textures in one bite. Here, the sear brings out and elevates both the flavor and tenderness of the rich and fatty salmon. And here we have one of the most frequent and beloved pieces to grace the omakase menu, Chitoro. With its exquisitely balanced fat marbling, it's a sublime combination of rich bluefin tuna umami flavor and buttery smooth melt in your mouth texture. A notable characteristic of this spot was their use of a special red Japanese vinegar for the sushi rice. Another notable feature that makes this an excellent omakase for beginners is the English-speaking skill of the staff. The outwardly friendly, warm and conversational demeanour is relatively less common, especially in restaurants where the atmosphere can be more serious or traditional. And now getting back to the sushi, another benefit of an omakase is being able to see everything prepared right before your eyes. This not only allows one to appreciate the skill and handiwork required, but also lets you visually assess the quality of the food for yourself. And getting back to interesting seasonal variations, this was another unique piece that I don't see too often. The yellow tail was marinated and pickled, providing a wonderful combination of bright and salty from the subtle brine and sharp and spiced from the pepper and wasabi. As we reach the last few offerings in the meal, we get to another personal favorite. Saltwater eel is often simmered in a sweet soy-based sauce, giving it a delicate sweetness and subtle umami flavor. Here, yuzu accents are added to add a fresh and delicate extra dimension. When expertly prepared, it has a tender, silky texture that's light and melts away in the mouth. Often used as a finishing roll, the second to last serving of the meal is a classic in Edo-style sushi. Appreciated for its simplicity and the balance it brings to the meal, the gourd is simmered in a mixture of soy sauce, sugar and mirin, yielding a sweet savoury flavour and tender texture. Though the final piece, which is relatively common across many sushi omakase, is the humble tamago. This gentle custard-like egg omelette offers a light, slightly sweet finish to balance the rich, savoury flavours experienced throughout the meal. And while that's the end of the Shiro course, you need not fret if your favorite piece wasn't included. You may order a la carte at the conclusion of the meal. Though, for those with larger appetites or specific interest in popular pieces like sea urchin, I recommend trying their more expansive Kuro course. Overall, this omakase experience is excellent for both beginners and seasoned sushi aficionados. Its accessible location near Shibuya and user-friendly online reservation system make the process easy and stress-free. Moreover, the casual atmosphere and friendly staff provide a warm introduction to the world of fine sushi, making it enjoyable for anyone. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers.